Hi everybody, this is Rishi Agarwal. This is another video about lung cancer staging. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the N part of TNM staging, and we're going to be using the 8th edition of TNM staging for lung cancer. The only thing that goes into the N category is the location of the lymph node. The N category is very important because what we know from the IASLC database is that each increase in a node category was associated with a worse prognosis. And this is the breakdown of the N category. N0 means no enlarged lymph nodes. N1 is ipsilateral peribronchial and hilar lymph nodes. N2 is ipsilateral mediastinal or subcarinal lymph nodes. And N3 is contralateral mediastinal, hilar, or supraclavicular lymph nodes of either side. When determining whether a lymph node is positive, we generally use a size of 10 millimeters in the short axis, or if it's positive on PET. But we know that a good number of patients who have positive nodes on CT will be negative on PATH, up to 40% for CT on the high estimate and up to 25% for PET. Another criteria that makes a node suspicious is growth. If you have multiple old studies showing a stable lymph node, and all of a sudden you have a new tumor and a lymph node has enlarged, even if it's less than 10, I would call that node suspicious. So it probably goes without saying, but it's really important to know the lymph node stations in the chest, specifically whether something is in the right side of the mediastinum or the left side of the mediastinum, and what distinguishes the mediastinum from the hilum. One really important thing to consider is that lymph nodes that are anterior to the trachea are considered right paratracheal, whereas lymph nodes to the left of the left margin of the trachea are considered left paratracheal. So in practice, that means that if you have a lymph node that's anterior to the trachea, even if it's directly in the midline, if that's a right lung cancer, then that's an N2 node, but if it's a left lung cancer, then that's an N3 node. Let's take a look at some examples. So N0 means that there are no enlarged lymph nodes, and usually you see this with smaller tumors. N1 is when you have ipsilateral peribronchial and hilar lymph nodes. Hilar nodes are a little bit more central. The peribronchial nodes are just lateral to that, but for the purposes of staging, they're treated the same. N2 is ipsilateral mediastinal and slash or subcarinal lymph nodes. So in this case, we have a left lower lobe tumor that causes complete collapse of the left lower lobe, and we have a subcarinal lymph node. So because it's a subcarinal lymph node, that's treated as an ipsilateral node. If this tumor were on the right side, it would still be an N2 node. In this case, we have a lymph node that straddles the AP window and left paratracheal region, and it's in the region of the recurrent laryngeal nerve. So this patient presented with a left vocal cord hemiparesis. Here's an example of an N3 node. We have a large tumor in the left upper lobe that invades the mediastinum, and we have a right paratracheal lymph node. Here's a patient with a left lung cancer and an enlarged left supraclavicular lymph node. Remember that supraclavicular lymph nodes, whether they're ipsilateral or contralateral, are classified as N3. Enlarged nodes that are outside of these regions, like for example in the axilla or in the gastrohepatic ligament region, are considered M1, that's M for metastasis, because they're outside of the thorax. Here's some additional descriptors that are important to put in your report that might affect management. The first is whether it's single station or more than one. So for example, if a patient had a right lung cancer and N2 nodes, is it in one station, like for example, on the right lower paratracheal, or does it involve multiple stations like lower right paratracheal and upper paratracheal? You might see this denoted by an A or B. So A is single station and B is multi-station. Skip metastases are another important thing to describe. This is when you have enlarged lymph nodes with normal proximate lymph node groups. So for example, in the patient with a right paratracheal lymph node, it would be a skip metastasis if the right hilar and peribronchial nodes were not involved. 
And then finally, there's this term bulky lymph nodes. The actual definition of bulky lymph nodes differs from one source to the next, but it really just means that the lymph nodes are significantly enlarged, not just a little bit enlarged. Some places say bulky is greater than two centimeters in short axis. Some say it's greater than three centimeters in short axis. If you have bulky lymph nodes, it doesn't really change the stage, but it can change the management. All right, that's it for the N category for TNM staging of lung cancer. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks.